What exactly is Home Assistant and why could you be interested in using it? Home Assistant is a home automation program that is open source and free and it allows you to design a localized smart home while maintaining your entire privacy. It is a more secure, adaptable and trustworthy system than its cloud-based counterparts such as HomeBridge, SmartThings and Alexa routines. You may also automate your home in full secrecy by making your own smart switches, lights and sensors for Home Assistant, which you can then use to design your own smart home. How does the Home Assistant help? With Home Assistant, you can add all of your smart devices, integrate them as entities and manage them all from a single online interface or the Home Assistant app on your smartphone or tablet. Additionally, it can add features and improve the functionality of smart gadgets. Although it necessitates a Nebu Casa subscription, Home Assistant also lets you operate your devices using Alexa or Google Home Assistant smart speaker. You can incorporate any smart gadgets you have installed in your house or place of business and use Home Assistant to individually or collectively control them using various mobile apps. You may also add rule-based automation which enables you to set up processes or trigger devices depending on events, actions, conditions, and time. In order to establish or specify a series of actions that Home Assistant will carry out when the automation script is activated, you can also add automation scripts to measure the volume of the tank and send notifications to your smartphone and voice warnings via Alexa smart speaker when the tank level reaches a specific depth. For instance, you might create a smart water salt level sensor using an ultrasonic sensor and an ESP8266 board. Installation Installing Home Assistant is the first thing you need to do. We suggest using a system that is solely devoted to running Home Assistant. Follow the Raspberry Pi Guide instructions to install the Home Assistant operating system if you are still deciding which option to go with. Home Assistant comes with a total of four unique installation approaches. We strongly suggest making use of any of the following two approaches. The Home Assistant Operating System is a streamlined version of a minimal operating system tuned to run Home Assistant. It includes Supervisor, which may be used to manage Home Assistant core as well as add-ons. Method of installation that is recommended. Home Assistant Container a container-based installation of the Home Assistant core that runs independently such as a Docker. For customers with more installation experience, there are two additional installation techniques available. Installing Home Assistant Supervised manually involves the supervisor. Installation by hand with the Python virtual environment is required for Home Assistant core. The following list illustrates the various installation approaches that can be taken depending on the kind of device and operating system that has been utilized. If you are utilizing the Home Assistant Blue, the Home Assistant operating system has already been installed on your computer. Onboarding Home Assistant You have successfully reached this point. The difficult part is over. After installing Home Assistant, the next step is to set up its configuration. In this section, you will set up your own personal owner account for Home Assistant. This account will always have administrative privileges and will be able to make whatever change they see fit. After providing your name, username and password, select the new account button. After that, you will be able to give your house a name and select both its location and its unit system. Select the tag to have your current location determined. At this point, your time zone and the unit system will be adjusted accordingly. You can manually set these parameters if you would rather not communicate your location. Once you are done, click Next. On this page, Home Assistant will display all of the devices that it has found on your network that it can communicate with. It is normal to see fewer items than displayed below. There is no need to panic because you can always manually add devices later. To conclude, click the Finish button. At this point, you will be directed to the web interface for Home Assistant. On the screen, all of your connected devices will be displayed. So, let's get to the work and fill up that screen. To access the Devices and Services menu, select Settings from the menu on the sidebar. You will be able to configure integrations with Home Assistant from the screen in the future. You might come upon a section labeled Discovered. 
This section includes integration that were discovered on your network and can be quickly implemented with just a few clicks by following the instruction provided. If your integrations are not found, add, select the Add Integration button on the bottom right corner of the screen and then look for your integration on the resulting list. When the configuration for each integration is complete, it would request that you place the new devices on the appropriate regions. You are able to organize all of the devices in your home by using the areas. When you are finished, return to the web interface and hey presto, all of your devices are now ready for you to control. Automating Home Assistant After you have all your devices set up, it is time to add the icing on the cake, which is automation. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up a basic automation rule that will turn the lights on as soon as the sun goes down. Obviously, this makes the assumption that you have already established an integration that can shed lights on the situation at the spot. Click the Settings button in the User's Interface sidebar, then click the Automations and Scenes tab. You will now be brought to the automation screen, which is the central location from which you can control all of Home Assistant automation. To initiate the creation of new automation, select the blue button in the screen's lower right-hand corner. There will be a dialog box here. Select Start with an empty automation from the drop-down menu. You are greeted with an automated screen that is completely blank. The very first thing that we are going to do is decide on the name. Put in Turn Lights on Sunset as a command. The next thing that we need to do is choose what should get our automation running. In this particular instance, we want to set off our automation in response to the occurrence of the sun setting. However, if we were to turn on the lights as the sun really sets, we would be doing so far too late because the sky is already getting very gloomy while the sun is going down. Therefore, we are going to incorporate an offset. Within the trigger section, select Sun from the drop-down menu that appears after clicking the drop-down menu's drop-down arrow. It gives us the option to choose between the sunrise and the sunset, so go ahead and select the sunset. Setting up Presence Detection In-home automation can benefit greatly from presence detection, which determines whether or not people are present in a given space. If you know who is at home or where they are, you can open up a whole host of other automation options, including the following. Please let me know as soon as my child has arrived at school. Thank you. When you get home from work, turn on the air conditioning. Adding presence detection. There are numerous configuration options available for presence detection. Checking to see whether devices are connected to the network is typically the simplest and most efficient technique to detect presence. If you have one of the routers that we support, you will have the ability to accomplish that. You may quickly determine if there are people at home by utilizing the information that is already known by your router. Launching an application on your mobile device is also feasible to supply your Home Assistant instance with more specific location information. The Home Assistant Companion app is one that we recommend utilizing for both iOS and Android. When you first install Home Assistant Companion on your mobile device, the app will inquire whether it is okay to share your device's location with Home Assistant. If you grant permission, Home Assistant will be able to track your movements. When this is allowed, a device tracker entity will be created for the device in question, which can be utilized in automation as well as conditions. Participate in the community. Did you make it here? Good job! You have been able to install Home Assistant, giving you a test of just some of the many possibilities that are out there. After you have gotten that up and running, let's look at what comes next. In this bonus step of Getting Started Guide, you will learn about advanced configuration by making use of the configuration.yaml file. Participate in the community by joining either the forums or the chat. Watch and learn about the wide variety of Home Assistant related subjects with these videos lessons. You have reached a point where you are prepared to become a member of a global community of tinkerers. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribe and I'll personally reply to your comment. Thanks for watching, see you next time.